Fourier transform. Fourier transform of a real valid function f of x is defined by f of f of x is equal to integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e to the power i u x with respect to x. Okay. So after integration we get f of u or f of u. This is a Fourier transform. Now inverse. The inverse Fourier transform of f of u denoted by inverse uh, f of inverse f of u or f, f inverse f of u is defined by the integral 1 upon 2 pi integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of u e to the power minus i u x with respect to u. Okay. On integration we obtain a function of x that is f of x is equal to f inverse of f of u is equal to 1 upon 2 pi integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of u e to the power minus i u x with respect to u. Now this is a Fourier transform and this is inverse Fourier transform. Linearity property. If C1, C2, C3 and so on Cn are constants. F of C1, Fn of x plus C2, F2 of x plus so on Cn, Fn of x is equal to C1, F of Fn of x plus separate the terms C2, F of F2 of x plus so on Cn, F of Fn of x. We prove that right hand side. Okay, now proof. By the definition, so by the definition, f of c1 f1 of x plus c2 f2 of x plus so on cn fn of x by using definition integration of minus infinity to 2 plus infinity c1 f1 of x plus c2 f2 of x plus so on cn fn of x into using definition e to the power i u x with respect to x ok now separate the terms and this is equal to separate it to the terms c1, c2, c3, c4, cn are a constant. I will take outside. The first one is c1 integration of minus 2 plus infinity and f1 of x and this one e raised to i u x with respect to x plus second term c2 is a constant take outside the integral integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f2 of x e to the power i u x with respect to x plus so on plus last one cn is also constant take outside the integral integration of minus infinity to plus infinity fn of x e to the power i u x with respect to x okay by using definition and this is equal to c1 and this part is a first one integration part is a f of f1 of x by using definition plus second c2 is constant second term integration part is f of f2 of x plus so on last one cn integration part is a f of fn of x now this is required right hand side. Change of scale property, second property, if f of f of x is equal to f of u. <coughs> After an integration we get then <coughs> sorry f of f of ax is equal to 1 upon a f of u by a. Required this one. Okay. Now solution by definition, by the definition, using definition. 
f of taking this part f of f of ax is equal to integration of minus to infinity to plus infinity and f of ax e to the power i ux with respect to x <coughs> sorry <coughs> now now put ax is equal to t t is equal to means differentiate a dx is equal to dt or dx is equal to dt by a this integration is with respect to x this is x is equal to minus to infinity to plus infinity now put x is equal to upper limit sorry lower limit t is equal to minus infinity put x is equal to upper limit t is equal to plus infinity that means t varies from t also varies from minus infinity to do plus infinity now using this result in this equation f of f of ax is equal to integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of ax ax means t f of t and in this one ax is equal to t and only x is equal to what x is equal to t by a okay <coughs> f of t into sorry it is a ux x is there so t by a t by a now <coughs> f of t and e to the power i u so u is there u means u and x means t by a is it t by a into dx dx means dt by a now this integration is with respect to t means t is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity okay this is equal to or take 1 by a outside this is a constant inside is integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of t e to the power i u t by a into dt or this is equal to 1 by a and this whole integration is f of u by a now this is required right hand side third property shifting property if f of f of x is equal to f of u then f of f of x minus a is equal to e to the power i u a f of u okay now solution proof by the definition again using definition f of f of x is equal to integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e to the power i u x with respect to x okay <coughs> now f of f f of f of x minus a only take this part not here okay so f of f of x minus a is equal to integration of minus 2 plus infinity and again f of x minus a and into e raised to r u x with respect to x now take this one put x minus a is equal to take any variable put x minus a is equal to t or dx is equal to very simple dt put x is equal to lower limit put x is equal to upper limit you get t also varies from varies from minus 2 plus infinity okay so using this result in this equation f of f of x minus a is equal to this integration is with respect to x x is equal to minus 2 plus infinity next is using this result minus infinity to plus infinity f of x means what is a f of t e to the power i u we put x minus a is equal to t 
ओके एक्स इज इक्वल टू वॉट इज ए टी प्लस ए ई रेस टू आई यू टी प्लस ए एंड डी एक्स डी एक्स मीन्स डी टी दिस इंटीग्रेशन इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टी दिस टी इज इक्वल टू ओके नाउ टेक रिमेनिंग वेरिएबल आउटसाइड एक्सेप्ट टी वेरिएबल ई रेस टू आई U A is outside. It is to I U A outside. Inside is integration of minus two plus infinity. F of t into it is to I U t with respect to t. Now therefore, f of f of x minus a is equal to it is to I U a, and this part t is a f of u. Now required right hand side. Fourth property. Modulation property. If f of f of x is equal to f of u, then f of f of x into cos a x is equal to one by two f of u plus a plus f of u minus a. Okay. Now solution. By the definition, f of f of x is equal to integration of minus two plus infinity. f of x into e raised to i u x with respect to x. <coughs> okay, now so the uh, left hand side required right hand side. f of f of a <coughs> f of x into multiplying cos a x both side. Integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into e into cos A x into e raised to i u x with respect to x, and this is equal to integration of minus two plus infinity f of x into and cos a x is e raised to i a x plus e raised to minus i a x divided by two into e raised to i u x with respect to x. Now see. e raised to i a x is equal to cos a x plus i sin a x, and e raised to minus i a x is equal to cos a x minus i sin a x. Adding these two, plus i minus i sin a x is get cancelled. Remaining two times cos a x, and two is a cross multiply. We get e raised to i a x plus e raised to minus i a x divided by two. Okay, next is. So one by two take outside the integral constant. This integration with respect to x one by two is the outside. Now inside integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into open the bracket f of x into e raised to i a x into e raised to i u x. Base is the same. E raised to i is a common. And is a u plus a u plus a into x is also common with respect to x. First one. Second one, integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into base is same e raised to minus i x and e raised to i u x. E raised to i is a common both and u minus a and x is also common. With respect to x, and this is equal to one by two into this integration part is using definition is f of u plus a plus f of u minus a. Now this is a required right hand side. This is a required right hand side.